Hi everybody, it's Franny, and today we're going to clean and protect the convertible top on our car. Now I did a video on this a while back, but I think I've got a few tips and tricks that are going to make it even a little bit easier. We're still going to be using the 303 fabric protectant. I love this stuff, it works great, and not only for convertible tops, but it, it's for marine uses. Uh, anytime you've got fabric outside, this stuff works great for that. To give you an idea, the current state of the top. This is just water and it should beat up reasonably well because I've protected this top a while back, probably four or five years ago, but it's not really rolling off as well as I'd like. It's rolling off a little bit, but there's a lot of bubbles up here that are just sort of staying put and they're actually soaking into the top. So that's not what we're looking for. Our first step is going to be to vacuum the top while it's still dry. Just a standard shop vac here. We're not gonna be grinding really hard on the top at all, just gliding across it lightly. And the idea is to pull up as much dirt as possible before we get started. All right, let me go ahead and vacuum the entire top. When you vacuum the top, you just wanna glide over the top of it. Try and get as much of the loose dirt that's on here, dust and anything else on here off as you can. Just back and forth like this. Now if your top is really dirty, you'll actually see a color change. The top will get darker. We're ready to shampoo the top. Now the cleaner I like to use is just a basic all-purpose cleaner. This happens to be from Adams and I'm running a little bit low on it. But in a pinch, you can also use car shampoo as long as it's fairly well diluted. But the problem with car shampoo is it tends to foam up. That's kind of its thing, right? And just gets all over. And it takes a little bit longer to wash it out, but it will actually clean really well. You don't want to use anything harsh like dishwashing detergent or anything like that you want a nice, soft, easy cleaner, preferably a fabric cleaner. I have a few brushes here. This one is very, very soft for getting big areas and just a couple of small detail brushes for getting into seams and whatever you've got. All right, first step is gonna to be to wet it down and then we'll get to cleaning it. The only caveat here is that since we're gonna be hosing down the car, the rest of the car obviously is going to be wet and we wanna dry off the rest of the car as soon as possible, at least before we get any water spots. So that's just something to think about. With our top wet, we're just spritzing it with a little bit of all-purpose cleaner here. And we're gonna work it in with our brush in circles like this, we just want to lift up any remaining dirt that's in the top. Make sure you work in all the edges here as well. For comparison, let's use a little bit of our car shampoo. and our big red brush here. And you can see it foams up quite a bit more. With our top completely sudsed, we just need to rinse it off at this point and you'll see we're gonna get a bit of suds here. That's all right though. And maybe even hit it again with the brush just to make sure we get all of the suds out. Next, we wanna dry the car completely, and the fastest way to do that is with one of these rapid dry towels. These things are great. You can dry your car so, so fast. They're just a really big, super absorbent towel. All right, well, let's get to drying the car. Thank you. 
With the car dry and the top dry, we're gonna let it sit out in the sun for a while just to make sure it's absolutely dry. Our next step requires that it be bone dry. Okay, well, we'll be back in about an hour. Our top has been sitting out in the sun for about an hour. It's actually pretty hot, good and dry. Our next step is going to be to roll it with a lint roller here. And that's just to get any pollen or any other dust or little hairs, anything that's on the top. We want to get all of that off. So we'll go through and lint roller the entire top. We're finally ready to protect our top. We're gonna to be using the 303 I talked about before. This stuff is great, but there are a couple of little precautions with it. It is pretty flammable, so you don't wanna atomize it, like putting it in an air gun or something like that. But it is okay to put it in something like this, which is pressurized. That works pretty well, because it's not atomized. And this produces a really fine mist and makes it very easy. And in addition, I'm gonna be using a foam brush, and I've got a little bit of the 303 in here, just just for the edges and making sure that we get right in the crevices. You'll notice that I've also masked off the car. This stuff will come off of the paint pretty easily as long as it's wet, but as soon as it sets up, it's actually pretty hard to get off. So I just kind of mask it off ahead of time. Just makes my life a little bit easier. All right, so let's apply our product. We're just gonna be doing a crosshatch pattern and we want a light mist. For the edges, if you really want to get a good coat on the edges, I think a foam brush works really well for this. And we can just sort of paint right in here and get these edges done really, really well. Same thing in here. All the way around. All right, I think we've got a great first coat. 303 says you really only need to apply one coat, but I've found that in our conditions here with our bright sunlight and things, I think two coats works a little bit better and helps it last a little bit longer, but we're gonna let this sit out in the sun and set up for a few minutes first. Funny thing about this process is it's really one of the only detailing things you'll do out in direct sunlight. So 303 recommends that it be at least 70 degrees and they actually recommend you do this in direct sunlight. That's why we're out here. All right, well, we've let this sit for about an hour and the first coat feels very dry. So I'm gonna hit it again with a quick second coat and then we'll be done with protecting the top. As I got to removing the plastic and the masking tape, I only had a couple of small drips, easy enough to get at them with a little bit of waterless car wash. I think our top turned out really, really well. 303 says wait, oh, about six to 12 hours and let it cure. I'm gonna let this marinate out in the sun for a little bit. Now you don't wanna get it wet within the first 24 hours or so, so you definitely wanna store your car inside. But I'm gonna let this marinate for a little bit longer. I'll pull the car inside and we'll check it tomorrow morning. It's the next morning and let's test out our top and see how it did. This is just regular water. Look at this. Isn't that something? Look at that go. And it makes the top so much easier to keep clean. You can just run a rag over it and that's pretty much it. Just knock the water off. That's pretty amazing, huh? 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get right to them. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit the little bell next to it to be notified because we've got lots of content coming up. We're working on a Ferrari project. We've got all sorts of stuff going on. Once again, thank you so, so much and a very special thank you to our Patreon supporters. Until next time, safe travels. Bye.